Riverside parents, Brandy here. I wanted to take a few minutes just to go over the high cap scores with you and let you know what's going to happen at parent teacher conferences. We had an opportunity to co GAT test all of your students, and when you get to your parent teacher conference, you are going to get the scores for your students as well as a one page document. And that's the document I'm going to go through with you now, just so you kind of understand a little bit about the test, what to expect, and then what's coming next. So let's take a look at that document. When you get into parent-teacher conferences this week, you'll get a copy of this document. This is an overview of the COGAP pre-screener. If you flip it over on the back, it'll be an overview of the post-screener. So the majority of our students took the pre-screener. And in that pre-screener, we were looking for students who scored in the 84th percentile or above. That means if you have 100 students that are lined up, your child or the child who scores 84th percentile and above would be 84th or higher and the highest that you can get would be a hundred and so it's not like a percentage like a b grade but more of a percentile so we're looking at that ranking score once we have the 84th percentile and higher then what we're doing is we're looking for that gifted range and on a cogat the gifted range is students who score in the 98th or 99th percentile that's how it's measured we're not doing that here at riverside we're looking at it more globally and more on a local uh, percentile range and we'll give you some more information when we have our parent meeting in May about what that's going to look like. And so in the pre-screener, students were scored on three different tests. You'll see them listed here. The verbal picture analogies, number analogies, and the figure matrices. So those were three tests. I like to tell the children that the first one, if they were younger, were pictures. If they were a little bit older, it would be a word test. The second one was more of a number test. And then the third was more of a picture test as far as shapes and things like that. So the question is, what do these scores mean? And when you get the scores back, it's going to look something like this. And you'll see those three areas in the left hand side, the verbal, the number and the figure matrices. You'll see the age scores at the top. Those are the ones that we look at because we're really looking at students uh, birthdays. So if they're young for their grade level, that score might be high higher, like this one I believe if you look closely is a 95 and this one is a 92. So that score is higher, meaning to me that the student's birthday is a little bit later than the other students in their grade level. And then if you look down here, we've got those three areas again, but we have the raw scores. So the number of items, the number the student attempted, and then the number correct, and that will give us a score. When we're looking here at the total score, this is a 126, an average total total score is 100. So you can see how far they are away from the average or away from the mean. And then that gives us an age stay nine. Really, we're looking for an age stay nine in nine or an eight. And you'll see here that this is an eight. And these stay nines over here will give you some more information. So this will tell you when you look at those stay nines, it tells you what percentage those are on a bell curve. And I'll show you what that means here in just a moment. And so that gives you some information over here on the right. We, I mentioned mentioned earlier are going to be having a parent night in May with some more information for you. So know that if your student was tested either on the pre-test, the pre-screener or the post-screener, you are invited to come and they are on our radar. And we're going to make sure that they get the services that they need uh, regardless. Some students I know were probably thinking, oh, I failed or I didn't pass the test. No, that's not the case. It's very difficult to score in the gifted range. Really, we're talking about 2% of a pop of the population that are in that 98th or 99th percentile. So it's a very, very small number of students. We're casting a wider net here in the Riverside School District. And then the services that we're offering are going to be more inclusive, more to come on that in May. If you have any questions at all about those scores, you can definitely reach out to me. My email is here at the bottom. And um, anytime, if at any time you have any questions at all. The other thing I wanted to show you as well is the post screener. So if your student did take the post screener, you're going to get a little bit more information because they took a series of six different tests. So it's set up the same way, but you will see the confidence bands, the bands of, you know, the percentiles up here, and then those percentile ranks. I had to put this in, this bell, this bell uh, curve 
information because it shows you right here in the middle, this is the average student. So IQ is about 100 and those stay nine percentile ranks are right about in the 50, 50th percentile rank and the stay nines are about five. So when we're looking at services, we're looking at how far students are away from the mean or the average right here. So again, those eight and nines are quite a bit farther out from the mean. So this will give you some more information as well. If you did take the post screener, if your child took the post screener, you can go down and learn more by going to cogat.com and there's an interactive profile interpretation button there that will help you. So you will get these scores again from your teacher, but if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me at brandy.maynard at rsdmail.org. I will be in touch as we get closer to that May date for our parent night and know that we're working behind the scenes to make sure that we get your students the services that they need in the upcoming school year. Thank you so much for your time and attention and I'll see you later. Bye for now.